Now we're going to go back to our breaking news at St. Patrick's Cathedral here. Live pictures uh, honoring Detective Wilbur Mora at this hour as the casket is being moved from the cathedral to the hearse waiting outside with this sea of blue that we pictured a few moments ago with John Diaz reporting. You can see thousands of NYPD members lined up patch to patch with one last honor, a final salute for this fallen officer. As we listen to the funeral mass, we saw so many shoulder to shoulder listen to emotional eulogies for Detective now Wilbert Mora. As we take a look now as his casket is being moved, it will go to his final resting place. We see a final blessing right now from the Cardinal and other priests and religious members are out there awaiting him. Now outside just that sea of blue, thousands are showing their support. Mora's family and friends and fellow officers, some who he had never had a chance to meet. Such an emotional week for the NYPD. Um, we were in the same position on Friday for Detective Rivera for his funeral service. And now we are basically mirroring the same image. Thousands of officers, men and women of the NYPD from all over the world that have come here to pay their respects to Officer now, Detective Wilbert Mora, uh, the youngest of six children, a Dominican family, very, very close. We heard from one of his brothers, his older brothers, just a few moments ago with John Diaz's report. He was known to many as a, a gentle giant, a little bit over 6'3", just a, uh, a, just a guy who had, they said, just the biggest heart. He was a big-bodied, big fella with a big heart that was just one of those, another one of these officers that the entire, uh, the three two were able to rally around, just a guy that they loved from the, he'd been there since 2018 and just established such a great, great rapport with so many of the other, other officers, they really looked up to him. And as you heard during this mass, um, he was the first to respond. He was the first to walk down that hallway, not knowing what he would face. He returned fire and, and, PBA President Pat Lynch said, you know, he went down fighting. Um, Our hearts just, break uh, as we watch the family members lined up behind the casket and such emotional words from each member of uh, those who were speaking uh, with the eulogies. My apologies. Um, just it's very difficult to watch, of course. Uh, the city has been through so much in the past week, and now we see the pain of his family. And uh, Morris Casket will go to a final resting place in Queens. There will be a massive motorcade, a show of support for him and all he has done for this city. Posthumously promoted to Detective Wilbert Mora as we say goodbye to him today. Commissioner Sewell calling him a hero um, many times over, five times over, not only for the service that he provided on that day when he responded to that domestic disturbance so-called down the street from the precinct, but also um, being placed on life support um, for a few days in order to harvest his organs. He was an organ donor. His family uh, made a point of making sure other lives could be saved um, with Officer Mora. Um, his organs, his heart, his lungs, his two kidneys, his pancreas, all donated to five others. This was a young man, 27 years old, had not had a chance to be married or have children at this point, but obviously by allowing his organs to be donated and harvest to other people, those people will be able to reach those milestones thanks to him and thanks to his sacrifice. One recipient is a member of his own family. We also understand that a number of his organs went to residents in the tri-state area as well. It is quite remarkable to see the show of support, not only for Detective Mora, but also for Detective Rivera, who we saw last week as well. Everyone has come together to support these men. Everyone has to come together to support the NYPD. We heard so many people who attended the wake, never knowing Detective Mora, but feeling the need to come out and support him. So many had prayed for him and hoped that he would have been able to make it out of this. Hearts broke when we heard of the passing of Detective Wilbert Mora as we look now at his casket being moved.
to describe the emotion that the family is going through right now. Just poignant scenes there outside of St. Patrick's Cathedral, his mother being presented with the colors. Um, but again, you, um, you, can't, you can't imagine what she's probably going through at this point. This, um, this was a close-knit Dominican family, and, and Wilbur was one of the kids that supported the family, and they just talked about what a gentle giant he was, one of his friends going so far to say he was the biggest person in the room with the softest heart. So uh, this is a tremendous loss, not only for the family, for the NYPD, for all of us who have lost a, uh, by all accounts, a truly wonderful, young, dedicated police officer. And the fact that the NYPD has had to do this twice now in the same week um, for what happened on that fateful night that Friday under two weeks ago is just terribly heartbreaking.
We hear they are a family of great faith and they will be relying on their faith certainly to get through this. So emotional as we saw his family's eyes receiving the flag and we are awaiting now as that motorcade begins for his final resting place. A remarkable scene on Fifth Avenue, a sea of blue thousands turning out to show their support to honor Detective Wilbert Mora. They said he was the epitome of what you'd want in an NYPD officer. And just such such promise. The 32nd Precinct, you know, both officers, they were described as dedicated, courageous, and compassionate officers. They were partners. He had always wanted to be a police officer, they said. And today, police officers from not only the NYPD, but across the tri-state area, across the country, have turned out for him to honor to him, to pay their respects, to memorialize him on this day when the city says farewell to Detective Mora. You know, we talked about this the other day with Detective Rivera's funeral. How Wilbert Mora went to John Jay College, graduated there. His family knew that he wanted to be a police officer. Uh, the moment he started taking classes there upon graduation, um, took his police exam, passed the test, became an NYPD officer, and his mom went on to say one of the, his family, should, I should say, went on to say it was one of the proudest days in their family's lives to see him wear that badge and to have that badge number. Um, he wanted to make a change. He wanted to usher in a new way of policing. Um, one of the things he studied and, and wrote on was the effects of stop and frisk and how he wanted to see the effects that that had on people and change that way of policing, bring a different type of community-based kind of a um, hand-to-hand, -hand, reach out and shake the hand of the person on the street corner type of policing. Um, we can't echo enough. These guys were just, they were, they were kind of a different breed, mm -hmm. a different breed of NYPD cop, ushering in kind of a new era. In his few years at the NYPD, had made over 30 arrests and was practicing to take the sergeant's exam. He wanted to move up. He wanted to do more. And like you said, from the days in college, he wanted to see a new kind of policing involving the community. It was really remarkable to hear so many words from his family members and from his friends about what he wanted to do for the city he believed in, his hometown. And we are now watching as that motorcade begins traveling from St. Patrick's Cathedral to the final resting place. This was his calling. Uh, Mayor Adams saying that Mora was a hero. He served his city, protected his community, and he gave his life for our safety. And for that, we will be forever grateful.